The Myth of Hydra The myth of Hydra, a serpentine water monster, is one of the most iconic tales in Greek mythology, originating in the ancient stories surrounding the Twelve Labors of Heracles. Hercules in Roman mythology, the Hydra is often depicted as a multi-headed beast that terrorized the region of Lerna in the Peloponnese. This creature was feared not just for its formidable appearance but also for its lethal breath and blood, which were said to be poisonous. Hydra's story is a fascinating blend of symbolism, reflecting themes of struggle, regeneration, and the eternal battle between good and evil. The Hydra's parentage also adds to its mythical stature. It was said to be the offspring of Typhon and Echidna, two of the most terrifying monsters in Greek mythology. Typhon was a massive serpentine giant feared by the gods, while Echidna, half-woman and half-serpent, was known as the mother of monsters. This lineage alone established Hydra as a fearsome creature. Hydra's home was the marshes of Lerna, a region already associated with ancient mystery and danger, amplifying the creature's menacing aura. The Hydra's characteristics and symbolism. Hydra was no ordinary serpent. It had nine heads, although some versions of the myth suggest even more, and it was said that if one head was cut off, two more would grow in its place. This regenerative ability made the Hydra nearly invincible, representing a challenge that could not be overcome through brute force alone. The central or main head of the Hydra was immortal, making the creature even more formidable. This regenerative quality has been interpreted by scholars as a symbol of the difficulties in life that seem to multiply when confronted, making the Hydra a metaphor for the endless nature of some struggle. In addition to its physical attributes, the Hydra was also imbued with symbolic meaning. The creature's multiple heads have been seen as representing various challenges that must be faced in life, each one more daunting than the last. Furthermore, poisonous nature of the Hydra's blood and breath highlights the insidious dangers that can lurk beneath the surface, often unseen until it's too late. The Hydra thus serves as a powerful symbol of the seemingly insurmountable obstacle that people must overcome, both in the physical world and within their own minds. Heracles and the Second Labor The Hydra's most famous appearance is in the myth of Heracles, specifically in his Second Labor. The Twelve Labors were a series of tasks assigned to Heracles as punishment for killing his wife and children in a fit of madness, induced by the goddess Hera. Each labor was designed to be nearly impossible, testing Heracles' strength, courage, and ingenuity. The second labor, killing the Hydra, was considered particularly difficult due to the creature's regenerative ability. When Heracles arrived at the swamp near Lerna, where the Hydra dwelled, quickly realized that brute strength alone would not be enough to defeat the creature. Heracles engaged the Hydra in battle, cutting off its heads with his sword. However, he soon discovered the creature's regenerative powers, as two new heads would grow back for every one he severed. It seemed as though the harder he fought, the more powerful the Hydra became, a testament to the cunning design of this labor. The Battle with the Hydra Recognizing that he needed help to overcome the Hydra's regenerative powers, Heracles called upon his nephew Iolaus for assistance. Together, they devised a plan to defeat the beast. As Heracles continued to cut off the Hydra's heads, Iolaus used a burning torch to cauterize the necks, preventing new heads from growing back. This clever combination of strength and strategy ultimately allowed Heracles to gain the upper hand in the battle. The symbolic nature of this teamwork underscores the idea that some challenges in life can only be overcome through collaboration and creative thinking. The final challenge was to deal with the Hydra's immortal head, which could not be destroyed by ordinary means. Heracles, using all his strength and wit, eventually crushed the immortal head and buried it under a massive boulder, ensuring that the Hydra would never terrorize the land again. This act symbolizes the importance of confronting the root cause of a problem and taking decisive action to ensure that it does not resurface. With the Hydra defeated, Heracles completed his second labor. But the myth does not end here. The Aftermath of the Battle After slaying the Hydra, Heracles dipped his arrows in the creature's poisonous blood, making them deadly weapons. These arrows would later play a significant role in other myths, contributing to both his triumphs and tragedies. The blood of the Hydra, representing a double-edged sword, 
shows how victory over a great challenge can also carry unintended consequences. The poisonous arrows would bring Heracles both glory and grief, foreshadowing his eventual demise. The death of the Hydra also had broader implications within the mythological world. It was said that Hera, who despised Heracles and had sent the Hydra to defeat him, was furious when she learned of its death. To honor the creature, she placed it among the stars as the constellation Hydra. This act immortalized the beast, ensuring that it would be remembered for eternity. The Hydra's placement in the heavens can be seen as a reminder of the eternal nature of struggle and the cyclical battle between forces of destruction and those of order. The Hydra's Legacy in Culture and Symbolism The myth of Hydra has transcended its ancient origins, influencing various aspects of culture, literature, and psychology. Phrase, cutting off the Hydra's head, has become synonymous with dealing with a problem that only gets worse when confronted directly emphasizing the need for strategic thinking and perseverance. The Hydra's regenerative ability has also been explored in modern storytelling, particularly in genres like fantasy and science fiction, where characters often face seemingly indestructible foes. In psychology, the Hydra is sometimes used as a metaphor for issues that seem to multiply when one tries to address them, such as addiction or deeply ingrained habits. The myth has thus become a powerful allegory for the complexities of human challenges, where straightforward solutions are often ineffective. In this way, the Hydra continues to be a symbol of the ongoing battle against overwhelming odds, one that requires both courage and wisdom to overcome. Variations of the Hydra Myth While the most well-known version of the Hydra myth involves Heracles, other variations exist within Greek mythology. Some stories suggest that the Hydra had fewer or more heads, and in some cases the creature was said to live in different locations. These variations highlight the fluid nature of mythmaking in ancient time, where oral traditions allowed for different interpretations and adaptations of the same story. The core elements of the myth, however, remain consistent. The Hydra is always a symbol of a nearly insurmountable challenge. In some versions of the myth, the Hydra's ability to regenerate its heads is not merely a physical characteristic, but also a magical one, bestowed by the gods as a way to test Heracles' ingenuity and perseverance. This interpretation adds a layer of divine intervention to the story, emphasizing the role of the gods in shaping the hero's journey. Regardless of the version, the Hydra remains a formidable opponent, representing a trial that tests the very limits of human capability. Artistic Depictions of the Hydra The Hydra has been a popular subject in art throughout history, from ancient Greek pottery to Renaissance paintings and modern interpretations. In ancient art, the creature was often depicted with multiple heads, usually with Heracles engaged in battle with them. These early representations emphasize the hero's struggle, showcasing the physicality of the confrontation and the danger posed by the Hydra. The visual portrayal of this battle has served to reinforce the myth's themes of struggle and perseverance. During the Renaissance, artists like Antonio del Pollaiolo captured the drama of Heracles' labors, including his battle with the Hydra, in vivid detail. These works often focused on the muscular hero in the heat of battle, highlighting the tension and danger of the encounter. In more recent times, the Hydra has appeared in various forms of media, including literature, film, and video games where it continues to serve as a symbol of daunting challenges that require more than just strength to overcome. Modern Interpretations and Adaptations In contemporary culture, the Hydra myth has been adapted and reinterpreted in numerous ways. In literature, the Hydra often appears as a metaphor for complex problems that cannot be easily solved. For example, in George Orwell's Animal Farm, the character Napoleon uses the Hydra as a symbol for the ever-present threat of external enemies reinforcing the idea that new threats emerge even as old ones are dealt with. Similarly, in modern fantasy novels, the Hydra's regenerative ability is frequently used as a plot device to challenge heroes and force them to think creatively. The Hydra has also made its way into popular entertainment, including movies and video games. In these mediums, the creature is often portrayed as a massive, terrifying beast that can only be defeated through teamwork and strategy. These modern adaptations keep the myth alive, 
ensuring that the Hydra continues to be a symbol of the complex and multifaceted challenges that people face, both in stories and in real life. The Hydra in Modern Psychology The Hydra myth has been influential in the field of psychology, particularly in discussions about dealing with complex problems. The idea that cutting off one head leads to the growth of two more is often used as a metaphor for addressing issues like addiction, trauma, or systemic problems. In these contexts, the Hydra represents challenges that cannot be solved through simple, straightforward solutions. Instead, they require a holistic approach that addresses the underlying causes rather than just the symptom. This psychological interpretation of the Hydra has been particularly useful in therapeutic settings, where patients are encouraged to recognize that some problems may initially appear to worsen as they begin to confront them. However, with persistence and the right strategies, these challenges can be overcome, much like Heracles eventually defeated the Hydra. This modern application of the ancient myth highlights the timeless nature of its lessons and the ways in which it continues to resonate with contemporary audiences. The Hydra's influence on environmental and social issues. The Hydra myth has also been used as a metaphor in discussions about environmental and social issues. For example, in the context of climate change, the Hydra can represent the multifaceted nature of the crisis, where addressing one aspect of the problem can often lead to the emergence of new challenges. This analogy emphasizes the need for comprehensive and coordinated efforts to tackle such complex issues, rather than relying on single, isolated solutions. Similarly, in social justice movements, the Hydra is sometimes used to symbolize systemic oppression where efforts to dismantle one form of injustice and lead to the emergence of others. This interpretation of the myth underscores the importance of addressing the root causes of inequality and injustice, rather than just treating the symptoms. The Hydra, in this context, serves as a powerful reminder of the complexities involved in creating lasting change. The Enduring Legacy of the Hydra The myth of the Hydra has endured for centuries, captivating audiences with its themes of struggle, resilience, and the need for creative problem-solving. From its origins in ancient Greek mythology to its modern adaptations in literature, psychology, and social discourse, the Hydra continues to be a potent symbol of the challenges that people face in life. Its story teaches us that some battles cannot be won through brute force alone, but require ingenuity, collaboration, and perseverance. The Hydra's legacy is a testament to the power of mythology to convey deep truths about the human experience. Whether viewed as a metaphor for personal struggles, societal issues, or environmental challenges, the Hydra remains a relevant and powerful symbol. Its story reminds us that even the most daunting obstacles can be overcome, but only if we are willing to confront them with both strength and wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.